everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm sorry it's been a while since my last video, things have been really busy. Um, and as you can see, I'm back at home again. My lovely studio, uh, though brilliant in many ways, is quite tricky to film in because there are other people around, it's always quite noisy. I feel like a bit of an idiot sitting talking to myself in my room, or at least that's what they think I'm doing. I'm talking to you, but they don't know that. So I decided I'd come back and do some of the filming here because it's probably a little less interruptible. Um, I'm going to show you what I've been making recently. Um, I haven't done a fabric haul or makes video for ages so I thought it was about time and I've actually got some things to show you because I have finished some things. The first of which is the top that I'm wearing which is exciting for many reasons. Um, this is the fabric that I showed you back in ooh, August possibly um, when I um, also showed you the fabric for the silk dress that I made for my friend and the cat fabric for the skirt. Um, I have finally got round to making the final thing from that fabric haul, which shows you how busy it's been. Um, <laughs> but this top is important because um, I have started learning how to pattern draft, and this is the first thing I have designed and made myself, um, which I'm quite excited about. Uh, it is um, a very simple top, but it was based on a moulage that I made to fit myself. Uh, for those of you that don't know, a moulage is a very close-fitting it's essentially a form of your body, but made out of fabric, so it's skin tight. You wouldn't wear anything made from that unless you really wanted very skin tight. Um, but then you use that to create a, uh, you add some ease to it, and from that you can create your patterns. It means that everything fits you really beautifully. Um, and this top fits me really beautifully. Uh, it's, a, it's a very simple top, um, but it's a boat neck. It's got French darts in the front and then in the back. Just turn around so you can see. Uh, the back is very simple, so all I did was, um, so the moulage does have darts in the back, but I, uh, I just um, uh, trim them off the edges, there's no darts in the back other than at the, at the shoulder. So that's number one, and um, it signals a bit of a shift in the sort of things that I'm going to show you, because I am going to start trying to draft and make stuff for me that I um, am doing rather than from a commercial pattern, I'm going to try and draft some things myself. Won't be everything. I've got some stuff I know I want to sew, which is from commercial patterns, and I still love all the independent designers, so I will certainly be making things from them. But um, yeah, I'm going to start trying to make my own stuff, and I'm going to do a warts and all version, so you get the good, the good and the bad um, of all of that. I'm sure I shall make many mistakes, um, but I hope that that will be interesting and something that um, you'll find interesting to follow along with. Um, I uh, so that's so that's so that's top number one. Um, so, make number two, we've come to a different angle so you can see it properly, um, is this, which is a uh, simple sew pattern. So those of you who follow me on Instagram, uh, well now I'm part of the Simple Sew Blogger Network, um, and that means that I've been making a few simple sew patterns recently, which was a new company to me, so um, I've been trying their stuff out. And this is the trench coat. Um, those of you who saw my New York vlog will know that this is the green waterproof fabric that I bought while I was in New York, so it has a use. Um, and I did buy it with this in mind, I knew it was on my list. Um, so it's, um, let me talk you through it, it's, so it's green, uh, nylon, and it's got the, these lapels. No collar, which is sort of unusual, but um, fine. Um, it's quite a big lapel. I was going to cut this in a bit because on me it sort of slightly gets a bit like out past my shoulders, but I decided to leave it eventually because getting the proportion right was a bit tricky. It wraps over and it does have a belt in the pattern, but I didn't buy enough fabric to make a belt, so I'm using one that I own already, this skinny like little leather belt. Um, and it's got pockets, which I have lined with and the lining fabric, well I've made the pockets out of the lining fabric, which I shall show you in a second. Um, it's got this really flattering sort of knit in waist and then um, pleated skirt detail. And then the back is just very, very plain. Um, very plain on the back. So let me show you the lining. It's going to require me to undo this belt, which could be interesting. Give me a second. Um, and here's the lining. Ah! So this is the fabulous lining that I bought in New York and has been put to good use and the colours go so well! Um, yeah, I had to do a little bit of packed work on the lining. The BDI amongst you will see that there's a little bit of a seam running here. Didn't have quite enough to cut out the pieces so I had to patch it together a bit, but I don't care. Um, <clears throat> and I, uh, the pattern itself doesn't come with instructions to line it so I, I lined it myself and I've done my um, trick of finishing the bottom off with, um, with lace. Uh, on the lining which looks amazing. Um, so it's hand hemmed, oh, 
Hemming waterproof fabric by hand is really painful. It is really tough and the needle does not like going through it, but I got there eventually. So this is, uh, yeah, so this is make number two. Simple sew coat, which I do love and has been worn um, on the less cold days in London. It's getting chilly now, um, but great for autumn and, it, and spring. Um, and I'm really glad I made it waterproof because it means that it's going to be really practical too. So, simple sew coat. Which if you spin, there's fun spinning. So final make is um, another simple sew pattern. Um, I've been making a few and have not blogged any of them, so sorry, it's a slighter uh, concertina of simple sew things. Um, this is from, oh, got fluff on me. This is from the duo of skirts um, pattern from Simple Sew. And this is the tie waisted skirt. Um, but I've put the tie at the front because I prefer it like that. Um, this is made from a Melton wool that was very kindly given to me by Abacan to make this it's gorgeous fabric it's almost like felt um, in that it's very smooth and it's very dense and it has but it's got a lot of still got some drape to it and I just think it works, works really well with the pleats in the skirt um, and it's one of the fav my favorite things that I've made I think probably this year I just love it um, it's a, it's a lovely shape it sort of tapers in at the bottom I just think it's a really unusual um, design and I really love it. So I wanted to show you this. So yes, this is the Abacan wool simple sew duo of skirts tie back waisted skirt. Say that when you're drunk. Um, yeah, so that's the so that's the last one. This is the this is the final thing that I've made this month. So that's it from me. Have a great rest of the week, and I will see you again soon.